Gonna be good. It actually is kind of ironic because he sang that song "Only Sleeping," and you were actually his summer school. I teacher. think he wrote it in there instead of doing his right. work. I think that's what happened. Did he actually? Did you actually pass his class? No, I failed actually. Uh, I came close. Fifty-nine. Yeah, he, yeah. He's not off to the corner. I didn't really remember him when he first came in, but now uh, you know we talked to him. After he played that song, he's like, "Wait, didn't you were playing that?" That was playing on his iPod yeah, while he was something sleeping. of a bookworm. <laughs> yeah. He, he said he's been a musician eight years, so I'm just wondering, is that the when a career started? Or? Yeah, I think it started in class. I inspired him. Instead of okay. learning science and English, he took off with the music. You it know? was that boring. He just had to start. Yeah. I'm going to sleep. No, it was a good teacher. It was my fault. I was a good teacher. I liked that. The effort in, but well, it. Well, obviously, good. you got a 59, obviously. Well, that's pretty. I gave you that 59. I gave you 59. You could have gave him the 60. Whoa. We're not going to settle it. <laughs> We're not going to settle Look how good he's doing. He is doing good. Yeah. No, you're welcome. He's actually passing with Everything the happens for a reason, right? right? Uh, yeah. There you go. Some well, of your proceeds should probably go to me when you get big. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. I think he's going to go to Max Cap. He'll go to Max Cap and like, yeah, uh, that's, that's for my teacher right there. He failed me, but you know, now I'm making a lot of money. Nice. I got uh, roadies, so it's great. All right, so Alan. Yes, I have a microphone on. Oh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So Alan, you're the... You're the wrestling guy? Yeah, the wrestling guy. Ow, 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 that's bone right there. There's no muscle. Yep. So you are a wrestling coach, and you're also the, you're a teacher at West Springfield High, correct? Yeah, I teach phys ed and an RY class, a new program over there, and I coach football and wrestling. I run some summer workout programs, too. What exactly? Well, really, because my dad says that I need to start putting some, putting some weight on. You're pretty good. You're yeah, pretty big. I, I weigh as much as like a 12-year-old with type 2 diabetes, but... <laughs> Other than that, <laughs> I've been trying to put on the pounds. Right. Well, what exactly is RY? RY, um, RY is a course called Reconnecting Youth. And yeah. It was brought into the district through a grant that was funded through the superintendent. He wrote a grant, um, and it kind of uh, it, it works on kids that might not be totally invested in school, uh, kids that need a smaller classroom size, uh, kids that need a little more support throughout the the year. So you kind of you know, you stay on them. You kind of like ride in them. So like I coach sports and I'm able to stay on top of my athletes pretty much all the time. And they'll tell you, a couple of them are here and they'll tell you. You mean like on top of them by wrestling them? Yes. Well, if something's going wrong, they call me in and I take care of it. Oh, really? You just break it up? No, not at all. No, it's funny. you like wrap it. All right, go. And I'm not going to look. You guys can just do what you got to do. But like as a wrestling coach and a teacher, yeah. doesn't it kind of conflict now with bullying? Do you see a lot of bullying? Are you, are you? Because there might be the notion, you know, he's a teacher and he's teaching these guys how to pick, you know, on the kids yeah. and get free lunch and stuff like that. So, <laughs> is there a huge, is there a huge issue in at West Side with like bullying and stuff like that? No, we haven't. Um, you know, after the whole South Hadley thing, every school had to put in place their own uh, bullying prevention program. So we have one of those, but as it relates to like the wrestling team, like these guys are pretty much. You know, uh, they're a reflection of us, and we work on, you know, developing them so they have really good character. So the wrestlers, if anything, would be the kids that, if there's something going on, you don't have that, that kid's afraid to step in and say, hey, what are you, what are you doing? Why are you picking on this guy? Right, you know? right, and right. these guys aren't afraid to kind of step in and say, hey, that's not right. So it's actually a little bit of the opposite of what you would think, you know? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. I don't, I don't walk down the hall to see these guys like throwing half Nelsons and right, getting well. jab lasers in the hall. Oh, and, yeah, they're yeah. not doing that kind doing of stuff. Doing the count and stuff like that, that's great. Right, so. Now, actually, with this restaurant actually has a Russian background, uh, the owners from uh, he's Lithuanian and stuff like that, and you actually married into the Russian culture. I did. I did, and that's why I'm here today. So. It, that, that's no. why you're here. <laughs> I'm here today. Now, I don't want to stare. This may sound stereotypical, but did she like you because you're a wrestler or because we know the Russians are good wrestlers? I mean, Rocky IV, Ivan Drago. Right. He wasn't as good as the American, but he right. he could pack the punch. Right. Well, I think, she, yeah. 
I don't know why she liked me, to be honest with you. Uh, I, I, we, I hope she's not watching. We met, at, we met at Six Flags, and I worked a scale game there where you guess people's age, weight, and month they're born. I can guess your weight later on if you want to. Really? Do that. Uh, how much do you think? Uh, stand up real quick. Don't say, don't, six, don't say six feathers. All right. I get three pounds each way, up or down. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nothing there. Um, you weigh about 100 and... Yeah, you're deceiving. 126. No. With shoes on, I'm about about... 142 ish. 142? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got heavy bones. Yeah, so. so. I wasn't very good, but it doesn't matter there. So. You get a prize, you pay the money, that's how it works. So I met my wife, she worked, uh, she took the money from the games, and I, I worked a scale game, and she came by. Is it a scale game where you, like, you show your muscles, and then you, like, slam them? No, that's not the scale game. That's not the scale no, game. No, the scale game's like you step on the scale. Like, I guess your weight, you step on, I'm wrong. I oh, would, like, that get makes sense. Get that's why you just asked me how much I weigh. Yes. Okay. So. I got it. Obviously, I didn't play the scale game or anything. That's like a that. great game. I, I actually try to do the basketball game. Oh, you know, okay. like when it's far, like what? How's that far? Like forty feet or whatever. Yeah. And I would actually like accidentally hit the attendant because like I can't really pick up the basketball. I got so. you. Yeah. So. Yeah. So now, you how long have you been married to your wife? Nine years. Nine years. Now, do you speak any Russian? Uh, a little bit. Choo choo. Choo choo. Choo choo. Exactly. You're actually Russian, right? You can. We speak could have a great conversation. Ukrainian. Okay. You guys aren't rushing to get out of this show, are you? No, oh. no. Right. I, I made time. Where is it? You're going to play the riff right now. <laughs> that would have been it. Oh, yeah, whatever. I'm, I'm, not the, I'm, not the, I'm not the artist. So now you're actually, now West Springfield is actually building a new high school, right? Yep, yep. We just got uh, approved and uh, it's going to break. It's going to, what do you need over there? We can edit this. We don't even know him. What do you need? He's like making faces at me back there. I don't even want me to talk about the new school. All right. School no. sucks. <laughs> we're not in school. Don't talk. Yeah. Well, yeah, we're going to have a new school coming in, um, you know, and it's a pretty big, big deal yeah. for everybody involved, especially if you're in the community and you have kids and they're upcoming, they're, they're looking to, to do everything right, you know, and, right, yeah. and as far as from the classrooms right up to the athletic fields and everything else. So it should be, it should be pretty awesome. Now, how much is this school going to cost? Anyone know? Are they guessing? Ninety million. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Ninety million. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly the numbers. Because but... I'm from Chicopee, and when they built the new Chicopee High, it was like it was close to like fifty-five million. And then when they beat, uh, when they built Comp, it was ninety million. Yeah. So obviously they're like, well, we don't care as much about these kids. <laughs> We're gonna give these guys ninety million. And, right. And they like the Colts. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, now you're actually working to be a. Um, you're working on being an assistant vice principal, right? Yeah, I'm going for my master's in administration. Uh, what, are you, what college are you going to that? Westfield State. That Westfield College, State? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so the super, now, how are you, now how does that process work exactly? Process? Of uh, like becoming a vice principal and stuff like that. Because like I knew a lot of people, like my teachers, they'd be a teacher yeah. and then the next year all of a sudden they'd be a vice principal, you right. know, suspending me and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. So yeah, I'm not I really thought we were cool and then all of a sudden uh, you're out. I'm like, well, okay. Right. I'm not in any rush to get my degree. I'm right. taking it slow. I take a course, you know, one course every semester because I'm coaching too. And I like what I do. I teach phys ed. I mean, it's a, it's phenomenal. You have yeah. a, a good impact uh, impact on kids' lives, and it's it's a great job. So I'm not in a rush to get out right right now. So um, it's down the line, and you know, maybe I'll get out of go to a different district, so I don't have that issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to suspend my ex. You know. Yeah, that, that, you get that you do have that conflict of interest because like you're the, you'd be like you're the gym coach. You're playing dodgeball with them. And then you're telling them, you know, you can't be playing dodgeball outside or <laughs> can't be doing this, and then you suspend them and stuff like I, yeah, that. Yeah, but I wouldn't really have, I don't think, I think they can attest. I, I probably would be able to do that, you know, like suspend one of my, it wouldn't be that. If they're doing something wrong, I'd suspend them. You'd actually probably be doing them a Pretty favor. Pretty simple. I think they would understand it, too. A lot of kids really don't like school and stuff like that, so they'd be like, all right, suspend me. I'll just go. Do you guys play dodgeball? We don't. It's yeah. outlawed. It's outlawed. Yeah. You can't have, play dodgeball. No dodgeball. Well, not in physical education class, no. We could, we could play in, like, uh, you know, after school for, like, wrestling. We'll do a certain kind of dodgeball that we play. It's a pretty good time. Right, right, right. But you can only do it. No, no face. If we do that uh, we do that after school. You can't do it during school hours because you kind of, you can be picking on a kid or right, right, right. singling somebody out. You're yeah, the wrestling coach, too, so. Yeah. You know how it is. Yeah. It looks even, he looks even worse on your resume. <laughs> I can see that. Like, what, so physical education, you can't play. Now, why can't you play dodgeball? Because that was. You're really my, stuck on this dodgeball. No, no, no. Right? I really want to get to this dodgeball thing. Because when I was in school, uh, we had 45 minutes and we would play dodgeball. It was great. And right. the teacher would yell at us and be like, you guys aren't going to leave the room until you stop 
you know, start being quiet, and three minutes is gone. In dodgeball, that's like five years, you know, because right. we only have 45 minutes. Miss, I want to get out there and play, mm -hmm. stop crying, you know, so. I don't know. It's the state. That's what they said. It's There's issues with it. I don't know. No dodgeball. We don't do it. So it's not really we'll physical education anymore. It's just like education the whole yeah. physicality is just gone you guys like can you no. play tag or anything like that no we don't play tag we're in high school <laughs> whoa whoa we're too old to be doing that now well you don't know. ring around the road we do a little badminton what about uh this can get pretty violent believe it or not badminton you know, badminton with the birdie and the yeah 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 you guys do that <laughs> that's right if anybody beats you guys me, get do an the a. um the parachute thing when you have the beans and then you do the parachute and no. stuff like that no no <laughs> Elementary school. I, elementary school. Yeah. I don't, don't re game though. I don't remember yeah. what we did in high, what we do in high school. Do you remember? Floor hockey. Uh, yeah, a lot of floor, floor hockey. hockey. Floor yeah, hockey. You did a lot of floor hockey because you were sleeping. You got to throw a javelin <laughs> too. No, we don't throw javelin. No. Yeah. Run into the javelin. Yeah. Do you guys have a track? Does the West West Side have a track? We have a track. Yeah. Uh, you can say that. It's a track. Right, right. You just run run around the. We don't run around it though, no. but we have one. In the new school, there's going to be a track inside the school. Oh, oh. Second, second story track. So it's going to be pretty good. Now, I actually know um, one of your wrestlers, a friend of mine. And um, how, how is the uh, wrestling team? Is, are you guys doing good? Are you guys like throwing it down? One, two, three. Are you winning, putting the W's in. <laughs> yeah, these guys are pretty good. They work year round, and they're really dedicated kids. Yeah. Um, we come in second place for the past five years to Central, who's a powerhouse in the state. So I'd like to think that we're also one of the top teams in the state. They work really hard at it, so. Um, and they're dedicated kids. Right, That's a good yeah. program, yeah. Now, do you get them extra training, and you get them in the uh, physical education class, and then you, like, have these guys just, like, working on their wrestling techniques? Do you have, like, for physical education, do you actually have a wrestling class? No, we don't. That'd be great, but we don't have that. So what happens is... Well, yeah. figures, you don't even have dodgeball. We don't dodgeball. Do we can't do wrestling, yeah. Can't do wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. So these guys, yeah, they just work on in the off season. There's a lot of opportunities. They have open mats down at the middle school. Stan Svek runs all that, and they're, they're there Tuesday, Thursday night, 6 o'clock, and these guys go to everything they can. They can't get enough of, of whatever it is that we offer them, and they get involved, and then they go off to, you know, other states and wrestle in the off season and Just fight kids on the road they and love stuff it. like that. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, bro, you had dodgeball? Yes, we did. You did? I, I can see why they outlawed it. <laughs> Thank you. Why, were you one of the kids that got hit in the face? <laughs> no, I was the one that was dishing it out. Oh, dishing it out. oh. Did you actually? Did, but, you go to, did you go to high school around here? I I finished high school in the United States. I I did ten ten years in Ukraine, which kind of brings me to a question. I, I I maybe you can clear this up. I always wondered why do they suspend kids for doing something bad? Like isn't that what oh, you want like to give do? Them a, like, for yeah, you basically like send them home. Well, actually, the new administration. It's funny you say that. They've uh, you know really brought back ISS, which if anybody knows that in, in oh, school oh, in awful. school suspension, awful. it's awful. And that's the way, like, like cause, detention. Because we agree, no, it's a whole day in school. It's where you sleep in a room. You sleep in a room for like six hours. Yeah. It's, 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 it's basically like a prison. They like bring you food. Oh, they, so they don't send you home anymore? Yeah. So right now they're they're trying to avoid that, like what you're oh, talking okay. about. So instead of giving them a vacation, you sit them in ISS, and the teachers send out work, and now that kid's sitting there for seven hours. You know, no. You know, no interaction with anybody else, just doing their work. Ah, and there's okay. somebody in there that monitors that. So. Basically, picture the Breakfast Club, but like each one of them is like confined in like a box. Yeah. A, so a sol solitary type of. Yeah, yeah it's confinement. Interesting. It's awful. I, because in tenth grade, I got into a fight and, and they sent me home. Nice. And I was like, really? So. We gotta go home. Well, yeah. Go home. <laughs> so I, I guess home. I, I guess I won. <laughs> Yeah, I'm leaving. Later. So, um, Kids bleeding. I, I never understood that, but that's that's one of those things. It's just the difference between, you know, education there and here. Right. Well, now it's a little... I mean, they have that in-school suspension, so... I see. Okay. How oh, that makes sense. Team. And, uh, wait, well, now are you from <clears throat> Russia? You're from... Well, technically Ukraine. Ukraine. But who's counting? I'm not, obviously. I don't... I, I'm not. But, like, okay. the, the, do you guys... Have, was there wrestling there? Did you guys have wrestling? Yeah, of course. Did you have, were you building your Ivan Dragos before Rocky IV? Or? Um, I think the guy that played yeah. Ivan Drago actually isn't Russian. No, he's not, actually. He's Swedish. Right, and that's not, not that's kind of far from Russian. Right, it is. 